The creator economy is one of the fastest growing career paths with more than 50 million people worldwide who consider themselves to be creators. Yet despite this explosion in popularity, the reality is content creators are criminally underpaid in Web2. On popular platforms such as TikTok and Instagram, creators are racking up millions of views, yet they are earning less than the federal minimum wage. But luckily Web3 offers a solution to this problem. And Deso in particular is the perfect platform for content creators looking to monetize their work. Make sure to stick around until the end of the video to learn how you can start creating on Deso and earning an income right away. First, it's important to define what exactly the creator economy is. The creator economy refers to the class of businesses built by independent creators and the companies that serve their needs. And Lee Jin, one of the experts on the creator economy, defines a creator as someone who makes an asset for the purpose of being consumed and aims to create value for both the audience and themselves. Creators is a very general term that can refer to vloggers, bloggers, influencers, YouTubers, writers, or pretty much anyone that's able to monetize their knowledge, skills, or creations. And the creator economy really took off thanks to digital platforms that enable creators to make a living in a way that highlights their individuality. There are countless platforms, but the most popular are their social media sites such as TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and of course, YouTube. These platforms allow creators to find and build their audience. And while these Web2 social media platforms have been crucial to the success of a handful of creators, there are a number of problems with these platforms. While I could spend all day talking about the countless issues with these Web2 social media platforms, I will focus in on three. Attention, ownership, and monetization. Let's break each down in more detail. The relationship between a creator and the audience begins with attention. And in the beginning, it is incredibly difficult for creators to gain attention on these Web2 platforms because these social media sites are competitive and loud. With over 5.6 million creators on Instagram and 2.1 million creators on YouTube, it is incredibly difficult to stand out, even if you are making quality content. For most creators, it takes months or even years of posting consistent, high quality content before a real audience is even formed. It takes almost an unhealthy amount of drive and dedication to become a creator with a large audience because you will be creating content for a long time without any kind of feedback or input from fans. And when a creator finally does start gaining some traction on these Web2 platforms, they are essentially renting an audience in exchange of free reach. This brings us to the second issue of ownership. As a creator in Web2, you don't truly own the content you're producing or the audience you're producing it for. This is because in Web2, you don't own your social graph. I talk about this in more detail right here, but your social graph consists of everything that you post online, every tweet, TikTok video, newsletter, and Instagram photo that you post online helps shape your social graph. And in Web2, the platforms own all of this information. This is why content that you post on one platform like Instagram can't be directly shared to other platforms such as TikTok or YouTube. And the same goes for the audience that creators build on one platform. It can't be shared or ported over to other sites. Creators are forced to start back at zero on every new platform that they utilize. And if for some reason you're banned or lose access to your account, then it's game over. These Web2 platforms offer vague terms and conditions and in some instances use censorship as a weapon. And the final issue with Web2 content platforms is monetization. The monetization model in Web2 is almost solely focused on advertising. Creators rely heavily on ad share revenue and brand sponsorships to make a living. These giant social platforms enable creators to build massive social followings, but also left them with virtually no direct paths to monetization. And newer platforms focused on memberships such as Patreon have their own issues as well. Fewer than 2% of content creators on Patreon earned the minimum wage in 2017. The majority of creators on Patreon earned between $1 and $100 per month from the platform. The average YouTuber receives anywhere between 50 cents to $6 per 1,000 views, depending on the target audience and video niche. As a YouTuber myself, I can personally attest to just how difficult it is to earn a sustainable income on this platform. Over on my personal channel, I have been posting videos consistently for close to a year now. I have spent literally hundreds of hours on this channel and with 49 videos posted, I've earned a whopping $25. I've actually made more money with just a few posts on Diamond, a Web3 Twitter competitor, but I'll talk about that in more detail later in this video. So it's clear that Web2 has some fundamental flaws when it comes to the creator economy. But if you're an aspiring creator, I have some good news. Web3 offers a solution to all of these problems. As a 
newer industry, Web3 is less crowded than Web2 social platforms and offers creators an easier path to capitalize on attention and build an audience. You have true ownership over what you create because in Web3, everything is stored on chain and can't be taken away from you unlike Web2. And being crypto native, Web3 platforms offer much easier paths to monetization compared to Web2. And the perfect place to begin your Web3 content creation journey is on Deso, a layer one blockchain built from the ground up to scale social applications to billions of users and support creators looking to build an audience of true fans. As a creator on Deso, you will truly own your audience and social graph, and you only need to build an audience once. You can easily port your audience to any of the 100 plus social applications running on the Deso blockchain. And anytime a new killer app is built, you can simply join that app and bring your audience with you. That is the beauty of blockchain. And to learn more about how exactly Deso works and why it's so groundbreaking, make sure you check out this video right here. There are three apps already running on the Deso blockchain that I want to talk about in more detail to show you just how easy it is to become a creator creator and Web3. First up is Diamond, which is like the Web3 version of Twitter. On Diamond, you can post and earn diamonds or micro tips from other users on the platform. Imagine if you could get paid on Twitter for every tweet you post. That is exactly what Diamond does. Plus it offers creator coins, which allows your audience to invest in you as a creator and grow alongside with you in your creator journey. There are already creators making real money on the platform. The Krasenstein twins are OG creators in the DSO space and have posted daily videos covering DSO and other Web3 topics for over 460 days straight. And as you can see, they earn hundreds of dollars per day based on their diamond posts. And as I mentioned earlier in this video, I've made more money from posts on diamond than my entire time on YouTube, where I've been posting videos for over nine months now. And I'm certainly not the only one. Goldberry is an indie band from St. Louis, Missouri, and is verified on Spotify. Here's what they have to say about diamond. We've made more on Diamond than anything we've ever tried. And that makes sense considering 98.6% of Spotify artists make up to just $36 per quarter. But don't take my word for it. If you're a creator, head over to diamondapp.com. I'll leave a link down in the description and sign up for an account make a post and tag Deso to let us know you joined and you'll be surprised just how easy it is to start earning on Diamond. Next up is DowDow. Now DowDow is a web three social platform that allows you to create a DAO and makes it as easy as setting up a social media profile. And while the concept of a DAO is relatively new, DAOs offer the perfect funding vehicle for content creators. Instead of having to rely on brand partnerships or bootstrapping cash in order to fund your content, you can raise money directly from your audience. Imagine the Mr. Beast DAO, where instead of having to spend his money to create a video such as the Squid Games video, which cost him $3.5 million, Mr. Beast could raise money from his own audience. And in return, the viewers and DAO members receive a portion of ad revenue, merch sales, or a slice of the countless other revenue models available to content creators. Imagine the Twitch DAO where streamers can sell NFTs in order to afford better equipment and dedicate more time to streaming. The audience gets to enjoy better content from their favorite streamer and own a unique asset that could potentially increase in value. Imagine a publishing DAO, allowing writers to self-publish their books and cut out the expensive middlemen. And readers can help support their favorite artist while also getting a portion of future book sales. These are all DAO use cases we could very likely see in the near future. And they are entirely possible on platforms like DowDow, the first fundraising platform for DAOs with fully on-chain trading, governance, social profiles, and communities. Make sure to check out this deep dive from the founder of Deso and DowDow, Nataral Naji, to learn more about how DowDow works. And the final platform is DesoFi, the mobile version of Diamond. If you prefer mobile-friendly platforms that allow you to create content on the go, then DesoFi is perfect. And it's a great example of how portable audiences are on the Deso blockchain. If you create an account on Deso or DowDow and start to gain a following, you can find the same audience following you over on DesoFi. I suggest giving the app a download and checking it out for yourself. I'll leave a link down below. If you're a creator aiming to build an audience and get paid to do what you love, look no further than Web3 and Deso. It is the perfect place to make content, build an audience, and actually have ownership over what you create. Check out Diamond, DowDow and DesoFi and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date on all things Web3 and decentralized social.